Hello friends, I am Rajini Sharchandran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video of engineering graphics, uh, we are going to deal with the type 3, third type problem in rotating line method. So the question is in your screen right now. The problem is draw the projection of a line AB of length 90 mm which is inclined at an angle 30 degree with the HP. The point A is 12 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Its front view measures 65 mm. Draw the top view of AB and measure its length. Determine the inclination of the line with the VP. See this is the problem. So draw the projections of a line AB of length 90 mm. So the true length of the line AB is given as 90 mm which is inclined at an angle 30 degree with HP. So 30 degree with the HP means theta. Theta is equal to 30 degree. The point A is 12 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. The point A is 12 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Its front view measures 65 mm. So a length AB. So the line AB. So what will be its front view? So front view will be, will be A dash B dash. So A dash B dash is given as 65. Draw the projections and measure the length of its front view and inclination of the line with respect to VP. Front view AB. Inclination with the VP. Fine. So this is the problem. So we can see, uh, we know that in the first type problem, both the endpoints and true length was given. In the second type problem, one of the endpoints, true length and both the true inclinations were given. And in this problem, one of the endpoints, one of the true inclinations and length of one of the projection is given. Clear? See, true length is given, one position is given, one true inclination is given, one projection length is given. This is the third type problem in rotating line method. Now, is very simple to solve. So we know that uh, the first step will be locating A. So at a distance of 12 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP, we have located the point A completely. Now, true length is given, true inclination is given. We know that uh, true length and true inclination uh, are always associated together. So at an inclination of theta is equal to 30 degree and a length of 90, we can mark the first or the front view of the true length. What is, how can we indicate the front view of the true length? It will be A dash B1 dash. So at an inclination of 30 degree and a length of 90, we can mark A dash B1 dash. So this is A dash B1 dash. Once we obtained A dash B1 dash, it is a true length. So it is opposite a parallel projection A B1 can be marked and the locus line of B dash can also be marked. So these two are also utilized. Now this is the only data remaining and it is given that A dash B dash is 65. So how can we utilize that A dash B dash is equal to 65? We know that this is A dash and A dash B dash is 65, we know that this line is the locus line of B dash. That means that line will contain B dash and it is given that A dash B dash is 65. So how can we locate B dash? Keeping this as center and at a radius of 65, we can intersect an arc on the locus line of B dash so that this will be B dash. So a dash b dash can be obtained. The projection a dash b dash is now obtained. So we have obtained b dash, connect a dash with b dash so that we have obtained the front view of the line ab that is a dash b dash. And how can we obtain b? We know that b dash and b will be on the same projector line. So through b dash draw a vertical line which means that vertical line will contain the end point b. Clear? So b dash and uh, because b dash and b will always lie on the same projector line. Then, see, A dash B1 dash, this is the first true length, this is its opposite parallel projection. So, if there was locus line, we can rotate this 
projection, right? Keeping this as center and this as radius, we can rotate this to the locus plane. But locus plane is not given. Rather, we have the projector line. This projector line means that line will also contain the point B. So, this is the first true line. This is its opposite parallel projection. We can rotate. Keeping this as center and this much as radius, we can rotate. So that that arc will intersect the vertical projector through B dash. So, we know that the B dash and the B will always on the same line. So, this will be B. This will be B means we have obtained the projection AB. Once you obtain B, we can draw the locus line through that point. This, is, this will be locus line of B. So, we have obtained theta, we have obtained alpha, we have obtained beta. One more thing we have to measure that is phi. So, what is phi? Phi is the angle of the true length in the top view. Angle of the true length in the top view or angle of AB2. So, how can you obtain AB2? See, we have the locus line of B now. We have A, we have the true length. So, we know that uh, keeping A as in the at a length of 90, we can intersect an arc. We can intersect an arc and name that point as B2. So that uh, this will be the true length. Since this is the true length, so opposite projection will be a line parallel to x y. So this will be the B2 dash. Which means, this is the true length. So this angle will be equal to 5. Now, complete the dimensions. This is 12. This will be 20. Ninety. This is also ninety. Since AB and phi is asked, we have to measure this AB. And right here, we have to measure this phi. Right here, and make sure that our answer is put in a box. See, this is a very easy problem. This is what I told that you have to study it in step by step approach. And once you oh, grasp that step by step approach without any physical So if you grasp that uh, if you grasp that step by step approach without knowing the concept behind this rotating line method we can easily solve these problems. So here the point A is located. Now at an inclination of theta we can obtain A dash B1 dash sorry A dash B1 dash. Once you obtain A dash B1 dash opposite parallel pressure can be drawn. Also the locus line through B dash also can be marked. Now a dash B dash is given. This is A dash. This is B dash. That also has to be dimension. This is 65. So we have intersected on the locus line of B dash. So we have obtained the B dash. Draw the particular projector. This is the first true length. This is its opposite parallel projection. Rotate so that we have obtained B. Now we can draw the locus line through B. On that locus line, we can intersect the true length again to obtain A B2. It's so opposite parallel portion is also marked and this angle will be equal to So I hope all of you have understood this problem. This is the third type problem in rotating line method. So in the next video we can meet with another problem in rotating line method. So please subscribe my channel and wait for the next video. Thank you.